last weekend on Amazon, I ordered how you're doing. So here's the Dage 4000 uh, P. So first thing you can do is make sure the computer's on, the power for the Dage is on on the side. Currently the setup menu or start menu for Windows is set that it'll automatically start the app upon boot up. So the first thing you can do is run the app. Initialize the axes. If it pauses there at the initialization screen, click OK. It should move the XY table back and forth a bit. It'll move the X axis up and down a bit. So the X axis would be up and down here. Y, uh, excuse me, X axis is this way, Y axis is this way. Once it's initialized, you should be able to move the table on the X axis and the Y axis. Without a cartridge, you will only be able to move the x-axis up. If you try and move it down, it won't move down, but that's for another reason. So, here you have the WP100 cartridge that's coming with this unit. It's heavy, but treat it with kid gloves. So there's a groove, this rides in here. It slides in, it's a little, just to physically try not to slam it in give it a firm press now the machine the computer should recognize that there's a cartridge and I'll go through initializing it So now it's ready to start doing pull testing. So you'll see with the right joystick, I can control theta direction clockwise, counterclockwise. And it's proportional. If I just push it a little bit, it'll go a little fast. If I push it all the way, it'll go full speed. The uh, z-axis is also from the right control stick. Notice it's still, it'll go up, but it still won't go down. That's because the lower limit needs to be set for the puller. So this can be done two ways. One, you can go to maximize, every time maximize your application. And you'll see on the bottom of the screen a hook with a green bar below it. If you press on that and pull the, the Z joystick down at the same time, the device will go down. As soon as you let go of the button, the machine will consider that to be the lower limit that you've set. You can also do the same thing with this arrow key on the keypad here. You press the key, and now you can set it to its lowest limit. Now, you can adjust the, the wire puller up and down. We don't have a real bond to test. So I'm going to set it up with some weight, or a weight. This is where alignment of the tool and the device. So this isn't really a hook, I'm just simulating the situation. Raise it just to the point where, and the machine will sense there's the weight there. You can bring it just below if you want. Once again, you can either, now here in test group, I've set the test load to 15 grams. And I like using the letter T here. T is also means test. So if I press T, it should initialize a test. It's now trying to lift the weight. 
So the machine thinks it has done a non-destructive test of a bond and it met the limit at 15.012 grams. So this is a, a 20 or 25 gram weight, but it's just happy with the weight. If it were a, if I set it to a destructive test, it would just keep pass it pulling and pulling and pulling until it sensed the break happened. But otherwise, it's just going to go to the top of your extension of the Z drive and give you a failure. Uh, other features. This comes with the purchase. So something like this, you would have to be aware of. Make sure your Z is all the way far enough. You're not going to bend your hook holder. So this, these come unscrewed, and you can, if you have substrates that are like slides, you can put them here. It slips under this piece, and one at a time you can pull test. There is also. for vacuum. Uh, once again, down here you have vacuum one and vacuum two choices. You can click on click on with the mouse or for number one you can press V and it also turns on number one vacuum. Currently number one vacuum is set physically to the upper part here and with the vacuum going I can feel some vacuum if you enable vacuum 2, that actually is going to the bottom here. And that makes it a little stickier to stick to the XY table. Um, our vacuum is not very strong at this point, so hopefully yours is stronger. features of the buttons. There are the buttons are assignable. So if you press one, and graded. So by pressing the various buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can assign, nines hasn't been assigned, so you can assign what function the puller will do. Also, you can custom assign each button. So number one, you can assign it to do all the items in the menu. Um, you can also assign the asterisk and the pound keys, which would be this or this one. Uh, another feature, uh, balance null. That would be the same as pressing these scales. If you put a device on the hook holder, that device is gonna have some weight. It may throw the sensor off, so you wanna tell it, balance it. So it'll accept the new weight as current normal before it goes to measure anything. Uh, let's see. You can also, I don't have anything assigned, but you can customize the buttons for each operator who's working with it. The joysticks are also configurable. So if you have someone who's a lefty and they want to control the left and Y axis, you can change it so that up and, you know, up and down with the left control is whatever axis you want to control in whatever direction. The VE, negative and positive VE, just means that Currently, if I move the X joystick to the right, the table moves to the right. If I move it to the left, the table moves to the left. If I were to make it a positive VE, that means when I move the joystick to the right, the table moves to the left. Um, all a matter of personal taste. Also, uh, ready to do uh, pull testing and pinch testing for solder balls and other kind of connections. That would take compressed air and would come in here. If you're just doing bond testing, you don't need to worry about compressed air. And if you're not going to use the 
hold down feature for the vacuum, then you know you don't have to worry about vacuum out there. Also provided our lamp, you can focus on your job. The optics, just adjust for the eyes. You can adjust the angle, this knob on the left, the knob on the right, if you loosen it, will allow changing of the angle and also how far out or how far in you want to adjust to view your work.